Okay, I'm back and I've created a new rocket, the Little Worker. It's as light as possible uh, to help with all of the, uh, the the fuel consumption issues that we were having before. Uh, so no fancy domes or anything. And there's lots of uh, separatrons, which I'll get into in a second. Um, it's it's sort of an onion design, but not quite. Uh, I've changed the rockets on these uh, to be these. I don't know if they're much better, but they seem to be more appropriate for outer space. And this is is kind of weird. It's a docking clamp and uh, one of these separator, the stack separators, um, which will separate from both pieces. And here we've got four, just four tanks of RCS fuel. Uh, this is attached to the tiny box, the uh, little little pod. Uh, it's it's the smallest one, the lightest one. Well, actually, the uh, the Staputnik is the lightest one. I don't know why, but I thought this would be interesting to use because it's uh, the tiniest one and it, it's kind of full of everything now. Like you can hardly see it. Uh, it's got battery packs, parachutes, and uh, avionics because well, I need some some SAS somewhere, so I decided to put it up the top. And it's got obviously RCS fuel. I put that directly in the gravity, uh, the center of gravity on it. Uh, center of gravity is obviously different. Sorry, center of mass is obviously different now, but uh, I used, I put everything on it uh, and the decoupler and that's the center apparently. So it should be okay. It shouldn't rotate like my original pieces did. I have, uh, yes, I have an abort sequence as well that basically uh, deploys the parachutes and uh, takes off the stack decoupler and in order to if aborting at launch um, in order to protect the rocket uh, these will all fire as well uh, in order to get rid of the um, basically the this bottom section to stop it from going as fast as this section so that this section can get away with the parachute on board I think I've set it up correctly so I'm just going to give it a go and try and launch it and hopefully it's fuel efficient. I didn't put any uh, any of the uh, uh, what are they called the tower clams and the, nothing is textured here which is really weird. That's kind of strange. Okay I'm just going to give it a go anyway. Let's go and throttle up go. Everything should be going, yep. Going up pretty quickly too. It looks as though those rockets are actually draining from... Oh wait, no they're not. It's okay. We're, go we're actually very efficient on fuel, by the looks. Um, yeah, it's that. Oh no, they, they are full. They aren't, though. Just waiting for that uh, 10,000 mark. Almost there, let's just do a bit of a 90 degree turn. It's a bit fiddly this one, it's kind of moving all over the place. And let's just try and turn to about 45 degrees. And there we go. And what have we got on the map screen? Okay, 41,000, good. Still going faster and faster, we'll just wait to get rid of this. And it's gone. Very nice.
And luckily these appear to have, uh, what are they called? Thrust vectoring, yes, that's it. Oh, not quite in the right. Okay. We're doing good. I'm not going very fast though. And we're actually losing speed. I'm hoping that, let me just turn the RCS on. I'm hoping that it's not a major problem though. The RCS is not working. Is this not on? This advanced SAS. That's really strange. It's not doing a damn thing. It does appear that we're going faster now though. So we're just going through a lot of fuel. I don't even want to uh, slow down here. <laughs> Coming in just behind the station. Let's go full. I forgot to turn it off to full. Now we're speeding up. And cut the uh, throttle there, and we'll wait until the apoapsis, or so. Let's speed up a bit. Okay, and now we're going to go again. Go. And we need some more height. We don't need to go down. Let's keep this straight. Oh yeah. Looks like ooh, we're going off center here. Let me just... Uh, having a bit of trouble here. It is keeping itself kind of stable, but it's not using the advanced SAS, that's for sure. And we'll keep it like this because we actually know we will uh, have to get into it. There we go. Okay, we're going to have to find a way of getting to that station. So, uh, no. Station, there we go. Station is the target and let's add a maneuver. Wrong way. There we go. Oh, oh, we're gonna get very close there. Does that. Oh, no. Is that gonna get closer or further away? That's gonna get further away. It's not really gonna change, is it? 115. 93. Okay, let's keep. Oh. So let's keep this. 101, no. 93, okay. And we'll see what we've got here. So they're gonna have a bit of height differentiation. Oh, this way. Is it? No, too far. Let's go back down. Looks like we're not gonna get that though. Uh, let's go this way. No, this way. Can we do this? It's 86, that's pretty bad. Oh, we got three kilometers, that, that's pretty good. Let's go with that. Um, so we'll have to, do I burn? Wherever it is, where's that? So we're there, we're gonna go there, okay. Turn the SCS off. Find our marker. Ah, there it is. Turn the SAS back on. I really hope that we're going to be able to dock without any SAS. It's going to be very tricky though. Oh yeah. And our speed's not going to be very good, so burn time is going to be probably quite large. 
Let's skip forward a bit. I don't know how long that burn should be. Oh. Maybe... Okay, so estimated burn time is 26 seconds, so we'll, we'll go in about 15. Let's see. Oh, oh, there we are. Oh, no, we can actually... There we are, it's a good time. Oh, no, oh, 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 oh. And let's see what this does. Get rid of that. Oh. 4.3. <laughs> oh. 4.2. Oh. And 4.1. See if we can get as close as possible. I think that's about as close as it's going to let us get, so we'll, we'll go with that. Okay, here we go. We'll find each other, and oh, this is going to be terrible. Which way am I heading? This way? No, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, let's spin around quickly. Yep, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Come on, come on, come on. I think we're getting further away from it now, but ooh, we'll sort this out when it comes to it. Okay, looks like we're we're getting our speed anyway. Just turn that back over again. And oh, oh. A little bit more. Ugh. And a bit more. And one little itty bitty bit more. Oh, RCS is messing with this. Let's see if I can move it anyway. Okay, I can. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna. Oh. No, no, wrong way. Let's, okay, we need the LCS off, on for this. And we're just gonna burn towards the target, which is getting further away. Oh no, it's not. Let's do this. there and that's that's pretty far let's turn the RCS and turn back around so we can cancel this momentum when it needs to be cancelled we were really fuel efficient with that we did not use much fuel at all still got a third of a tank maybe a third to a quarter There, stop, stop, stop. And we're just going to do a series of small burns as we get past the station again. Okay, it looks like we're going to get within three kilometers this time. In a little bit. Oh. 
Okay, time to turn around, do some more burning. Actually, well, how much propellant we got? We got 40 propellant. And we're not using much, so I think we might need to do some RCS burning. We'll just be very careful with this. I'm going to be a gentle push in that direction. The RCS is actually turning us quite a bit away from the station. And back we go. Oh, no, no. That was not what I wanted. There we go. That's a bit better. And we'll turn around again. Oh. But without the RCS, hopefully. If we can make it. Um, okay. 2.7 kilometers. We're just shooting past it really badly. We follow this target here. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to let this stage go. Um, this should work. It did. Goodbye. Oh, I did. Oh, it's still going. Okay, now I can turn this a bit better. Yes, yeah, this is turnable. Okay, let's line ourselves up. Oh. Come on, SS. Give me some control here. Okay. Okay. RCS on. Oh, wait. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We're going the other way. This way. Towards the station. So I'm going backwards for some reason. Keep forgetting that I can still move with the SAS on. And just move this closer and closer to the station until we get aligned. There we go, on the station. Now I have to turn this around really quickly to stop us. Actually, I don't need to. In fact, I should be controlling it from here. Uh, and turn that around. And in docking mode, for starters. I think I'm in the wrong docking mode. There we go. Okay, it's sort of keeping itself in control. Just another quick save here. And what does this do? Nothing. Point nine kilometers, we're getting there. Okay, now we're getting past our target. Okay. RCS, turn on. No, wrong mode. Uh, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down, slow down, slow down. I cannot stop this in this mode, which is really frustrating. Uh, okay. And then we'll go back again. Okay. And... T just to stop us and slow down again. Okay. And 
and we're just gonna go towards our station again. Getting there. Let's just speed this up a bit again. And I just need to dock to any port. It doesn't really matter which one. As long as I do. The cool thing is, is that this RCS doesn't appear to be moving my ship as much when I when I'm in this mode. Which is very handy. Okay. Let's move this. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, now I'm floating up towards the station again. Uh, which is handy. And why not try and dock in here and we'll save again just in case okay and we're gonna go up to here oh wait no no we're not we're not we're not we're, not. we're gonna go down and then we go like this do 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 like that. Except we're coming on in the wrong direction here. Oh, we just hit the station. Dear me. Let me just get this aligned a bit better and forward a bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, hitting things, bouncing off things. This is terrible. I apologize, station. I'm so terrible at this. Okay, okay, okay. So gliding away from the station just slowly, and we're just going to go a bit further. What's it? Oh no, 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 no. Turn this way. Uh, this way, this way, this way. Towards, towards, towards. In, 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 in. And forward a bit. No, no, no. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're going the wrong way. Let's just go back. Back a bit, back a bit, back a bit. Okay, and forward again. There we go, a bit forward. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Am I even going to the right port? I feel like I'm going to the wrong port. Let me just turn this around. Uh, okay, uh, this is very strange, and that is doing it wrong. There we go. Okay, let's try and go into this port here while I'm facing it, of course, most importantly. There we go. Uh, there we go. Got it. 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 Let me just. There we go. Whew. That. Oh, this is night time. Let's just turn on the lights. There we go. That was annoying, to say the least. But I got it here finally, and it's a full tank. 
And if that other, if those other tanks actually had a docking clamp, I could dock them as well. So we've got a bit of a fueling station now. We've got a ton of resources. Uh, this tank is obviously attached to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, alt right click this one and alt right click this one. This sets up the transfer system. And I'm just going to transfer all the fuel out of here. And this fuel tank will be full. Takes a little bit, but it's a great feature. And all done, empty tank. This one's still empty, but this one, full, full, very nice. I've just realized I probably should have had more lights on this section. But that's okay. We'll, uh, I'm gonna deorbit this section now, again. So, actually, is there anything else I needed to... Oh, that's got missing RCS fuel, apparently. So, we'll transfer that as well, so... Right click out and I'll right click and out. I feel that this station is using RCS fuel somehow. I, I've I've never turned told it to do that, but it's still using it. I think that's all the RCS that I need. Yep. Okay, let's leave. Uh, undock and go to the ship. There we go. And we're in docking mode, of course. Let's turn this on, turn in the RCS, and figure out where we gotta go. I'm assuming that we've gotta go back, backwards. So, oh, turn around. Uh, and we're controlling it from the correct uh, location, I guess. So we're actually going to do a deorbit burn. Yep, there we go. Well, it's not really burn, is it? Because it's RCS fuel. It's like propellant. Okay, let's see how long this will take. Oh, that's right. Can't do it in staging mode. Uh, docking mode. Docking mode controls don't work in the map when you're in docking mode because you're not technically in docking mode, so let's slow down. Oh, wrongly aligned here. Let me just get back on that line while I do this. There we go. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, okay, we lost an RCS fuel tank, but aside from that, it's good. We can end the flight here. Looks like everything's in order. So we can go back to the tracking station and it looks like we've got all these little bits of, bits of debris, but our station, if we go to it, in a few seconds, there we go, is all resourced up. We've got a lot more, almost maxed out everything on the station, which is good. But obviously this isn't everything that I'm going to be doing. I have plans, big plans. And it started when I wanted to create a space plane. And I figured why I create a space plane on the ground and take it up to the station when I can just build it in orbit by basically taking bits up to the station in pieces. And then I figured why, why make a space plane at all when you can make basically a normal ship of some kind that can travel to the other planets uh, by being refueled. 
by the station and never actually going to the planet. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a sort of a some sort of uh, interplanetary ship um, that may have sort of lander vehicles on it. Um, if I can figure out how to make them. Um, but yeah, so I don't, I don't even know what design I'll have, but that's what we'll be doing for at least the next few episodes. Once I get this fuel tank full, which I'll probably do in an episode that I won't record, uh, because it's, it's just going to be the same as this one, except probably go a little bit smoother. So that's all for this episode and goodbye.